more and more, I've, I've just come to see that it's because Canadians want it. It's because Canadians want it. Like, we, 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 we like the abuse. I, I, I said it yesterday, and I actually, it ended up on the, the daily clip. Uh, and I think it's true. I think it's true. I think Canadians like the abuse. I think we get off on it. I think, I think, it, I think it is kind of turned into a kink-shaming sort of situation where we're just, like, absolutely eating, uh, uh, absolutely eating all this shit, and we love it. Like, why, why else would we tolerate this? Like, why else would we continue doing it? Although, that said, uh, there is a survey that was done fairly recently. This is from the uh, Business Insider. Nearly three quarters of workers are actively thinking about quitting their job, according to a recent survey. This kind of a thing, like we're already seeing... Uh, uh, it, what's being called the Great Resignation shows no sign of ending anytime soon, uh, and it's and it's very clearly be, it's being very clearly articulated that uh, why would I bother working for a job that keeps me poor? I'll just be poor, right? Why would I also lose my time? And uh, uh, the hospitality industry had the highest share of workers thinking about quitting. That makes total sense. The number one profession uh, that uh, uh, that died from COVID uh, was cooks, right? Like, if Anthony Bourdain was still alive, he would perfectly articulate the insanity of this situation. He would perfectly be like, yeah, it's normal to not want to work in a place where you die. Like, that seems pretty clear. Uh, uh, according to Jobs List Report, low pay and desire for a new career path. Which is a good way of saying, I want to do what I am interested in, not what these sociopathic billionaires are interested in, right? And, and food service workers who left the industry during the pandemic told Insider that the industry has low pay and the customers weren't always friendly. I mean, when you live in a psychopath society, right? When you live in a psychopath society that, that has geared itself towards the worst possible people that you can find, of course they're not going to be friendly. Like, of course they're going to treat you like you're just an NPC who, who they can abuse, right? And people are saying, no, I'm not going to tolerate it anymore. Like, pay me. Pay me better. I think Canadians don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, I think that's right, Ruth. I think that is right. The last election proves that. Everybody just dug their heels in and voted the same way, right? Nobody, nobody knew where to go or what to do. 100,000 should go to a welfare office near them for a month and apply for social services. Yeah, like, I, I, I am of the opinion that the passage of a basic income is, uh, uh, is absolutely critical during this period of time. Like, like, the capitalist system has died, right? Like, I keep saying it, the capitalist system has died, uh, and people are no longer willing to work for this shambling zombie corpse, right? And the only reason the corpse is still up and shambling around in the zombie manner that it is, is because we subsidize it. So, like, we're literally working to pay taxes to subsidize the work that we hate. Right? That's what we're doing. We, we're literally going to a job we hate to work the job we hate for subsistence level wages at best. Uh to then turn around and pay taxes so that those jobs that we hate doing can be subsidized by our work. Like, it's this vicious nightmare circle, and the whole time the circle is going, surplus value is going off to worthless parasites who are psychopaths and do no work. Like, yeah, we should stop. We should full-scale stop. Like, this place needs not only a full-scale strike, Right? We need to completely reconfigure our entire society. There are parasites who are parasitizing the society. It's become obvious. Uh, and I'm glad to see. I'm, I'm super over the moon about this. I'm super over the moon that three quarters of workers are actively thinking about quitting their job. Stop thinking about it. Quit. Quit. Just quit. Just take your life back. Right? Take your fucking life back. Tell these conservatives and, their, and these liberals to get fucked. To go to, to go sit on it, right? To to, to, to go the fuck away. Uh, uh, join a protest movement. Join a strike movement. 
start actively fucking these people over because they're psychopaths, right? Like, they, they, they're literally detached from reality attempting to destroy you. That's, that's their, their goal. Like, that's their goal. And, and I don't know what it's going to take to convince people of this anymore. Like, I don't, I don't know what it's genuinely going to take to convince people that we are ruled by psychopaths. Like, it's, 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 it has become beyond obvious. Like, their names are on flights going to a pedophile rape island. Uh, uh, they, they, like, they're, they're actively offshoring wealth while lying to you and saying that it'll trickle down. They're telling you to work harder for nothing so that they can get extra money to get a, a, a yacht they can park their yacht in, right? Like, these people are psychopaths. Like, I, I, I guarantee, I guarantee that they are holding bets with one another about who can hurt more people and who can exploit more people. I get, like, what do you think Bitcoin is for? Bitcoin exists to exchange sex slaves amongst themselves uh, uh, and to bet money amongst each other uh, 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 about who they can exploit and torture and kill mo most effectively. These people are psychopaths. Like... Yeah, we should quit. The Great Resignation should become permanent. No one should work for these people. They're psychopaths. Like, I, 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 I don't know what it's going to take at this point. Like, like, does Jeff Bezos literally need to start walking around with a gun and shoot 12-year-olds? Like, does he need to go out into the street and shoot 12-year-olds in the street for people to finally go, like, maybe we should stop working for this psychopath? Like, is that what it is going to take? Because at this point that would be like the only thing that he could do. Like he already exploits and, and burns his people out as a stated agenda. His stated policy is to burn people out. That's his stated agenda. He's already got people pissing in bottles. He's, and, and, and all so that he can shoot himself into space on a fucking rocket. Like that's already happening. What's worse? What could he possibly do that's worse? And, and so we, we, we really, really, like, the question I have is what, what, what does it take? What is it finally going to take for these two-thirds of Americans, to, to three-quarters, rather, of Americans to say, yeah, uh, no, like, no, we're, 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 we're done, we're done. Hey there, if you've made it to this point, you're at the end of the video, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. Those are the rules of the internet. I don't make them up, I just enforce them. Uh, if you'd like to donate to my Patreon, support Leftist Voices, please do so. It's just down below. Even a dollar helps. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Good luck. We're gonna need it.